with that? I don't think it's a concern, really. I mean, I know this last game was tough, especially that first half, <laughs> as wet as it was. And even second half, the balls are all still soaked in the first half. But no, I don't think there's any concern. I think it's just uh, you know, kind of the ups and downs of the season. And you know, Jake's still playing really good football and, and uh, really helping the offense get in the right situations. What's he like off the field and dealing with that? Though? I mean, I, he's a competitor, like you said, but I'm sure that kind of frustrates him to a certain extent. I mean, can you ever tell when uh, something like that is, is bothering him that he obviously wants to do better than what he's doing? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I mean, you can tell it bothers him a little bit here and there. You know, we're all competitive athletes. We want to do the, you know, do the best that we can. But you know, Jake's had in. He's not in football. It's in Christ, and so he doesn't. He doesn't really bother too much off the field. When you have the defense playing the way it is, how much does it affect you all? I guess maybe in a positive way, saying you don't have to score a touchdown every drive. Just don't, you know, don't turn it over. Whatever you do. That kind of thing. I'll tell you what, it's awesome to have our defense as good as our. I mean, like it really takes a lot of takes a lot of pressure off us, you know, to always have to score every drive. Um, and I mean, to, to I guess it's a bad thing to kind of know how, how good they are and how they can win us games. But it, it also, you know, during during the week, it's like, man, we gotta we gotta uh, kind of match their intensity in, in practice and and kind of help them out more. You know, we need we need to put more points on the board as an offense to help them out. Yeah, to that end, I mean, can you you can get to this point? Playing so so on offense, you have that good a defense to get further. Does the offense clearly have to get better? Yeah, we need to execute more, uh, a little better in the red zone. You know, we gotta when we get down to that red zone area, we gotta we gotta put touchdowns. Um, you know, we gotta get touchdowns, not just field goals. I mean, Rod Rod's a tremendous weapon for us, but you know we need we need six points, not just three all the time. Do you think this would be a, uh, more of a uh, stress? Free time for the defense without the triple option. Don't worry about it. They have to totally look, you know, kind of flip their, their normal uh, defensive tendencies and the way that they play football. I mean, not that they don't have a challenge, but, you know, it's, it's not that kind of football. I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's stress free, but I'd say it's a lot more. Uh, their knees are gonna feel a little better come Saturday. You know, <laughs> over these last few years, always playing you know, triple option, and they just the guys over there are getting cut the entire week. I mean, even on Thursday, they're getting just cut, cut, cut. Um, it's not stress free, but yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be uh, you know be be a lot more ready, and it's not just a bizarre offense. So you know. Do you and your uncle ever go back and forth about the fact that he was here during a special era, and, and now you're in a third straight? SEC championship game. I mean, both of y'all have played at Georgia in pretty special areas. Yeah, I mean, we talk about it, but nothing, nothing too much. Uh, I don't, we, we really don't talk a whole lot of football. I've been, uh, I don't know, we kind of just talk about what it, like hunting, fishing, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Growing up in a Georgia family, though, how much was put on this rivalry as a kid and kind of as you grew up around college football? Yeah, this game's always been the, the big game, you know, like the, I love the rivalry week thing anyways, you know, you all, you all around the country, this is a big week for football. Um, it's always been a big thing, uh, you know, to a lot of people in Georgia, and it's always fun to watch this game, because it doesn't matter the, the record of each team, each team brings just a different level of, of intensity and passion in this game. What do you think about finishing up, going yeah, undefeated? Actually, I was going to say, I'm going to streak with three in a row. Uh, yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah, we definitely, uh, I guess that was my freshman year we lost to him at home. Yeah, but um, that would be awesome to, to finish it up 3-1. Three and, three and one. Do you remember how close what does Thursday look like for you? Are you bringing people home to eat with you guys, or how does that work for you? Thanks, Danny. Yeah, I used to drive home uh, the, the past, my you know, first two years, but going back, we, we got to be back Friday morning in Chicago, so I kind of have my back, drive home and back, so I, I'm probably going to stay on here this, this year. Charlie, how much LSU have you seen this season? You're playing over a couple weeks? I haven't really. We we don't we don't really look ahead. I've, I mean, I guess I've watched them. You know, when we have a noon game or something, they're playing at night. I've watched them a little bit, but nothing really. I've really picked them apart or anything. Is it that you guys have done a good job of you know knowing that you're going to Atlanta uh, the last couple of years and still taking business, taking care of business against Tech? Uh, is there any challenge in that, knowing that there's a huge game the week after? Not really. No, I mean Coach Smart's you know, he's always preached it. You know, the next game, the next game, and uh, you know the team's really bought into that and. We always, you know, always looking forward to that next game. It's the most important game. And once we get done with that one, then we'll look to the next one. What do you remember about that 2016 loss to Georgia Tech and sort of a move around the team after that? Yeah, no, that wasn't a fun game for sure. Uh, but no, I remember after afterwards, it definitely wasn't fun because then you know, we'd have to sit there and watch. I think Florida against Bama maybe in the SEC championship. I can't remember exactly. Uh, definitely, definitely wasn't fun. Put a bad taste in our mouth for sure. And. Uh, I guess you saw the results of that in the next season. You know, we had a good season the next year. What are your memories of this rivalry growing up in this state? Um, yeah, I just remember hearing about how much my you know, just all-time friends, my uncle and all his people, would just have to say about it. And, um, I just love the passion that these rivalry games bring. You know, it doesn't matter the the record. Um, 
or you know, how good one team is, the, the passion and the excitement around this game is always there. We can talk about the next game all, all day long, but everybody knows Tech is rebuilding, they're struggling. How do you maintain your focus? How do you get your, find your motivation? I uh, mean, we find it every 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 Monday. We come in for meetings. Uh, I, I think I was asking earlier. I mean, Coach Smart's done a really good job of, of getting this team to buy into the, the next game. It's the most important game, and you know, don't ever look ahead to the next one. You know, so we're going to come in this week and really prepare um, prepare for Tech. Like it's, you know, it's the next one. I don't think I've asked you since you first got here, but what what is your relationship with your uncle Scott? And uh, you, you know, he's the one who's been through all the things that you're going through. Do you, do you talk to him regularly during the year? Does he ever have advice or share anecdotes or Yeah, I mean, well, he's definitely shared a lot of memories with me from from his I guess his glory days and everything. <laughs> but no, I talk to my aunt and uncle um, a lot, uh, Scott and Marianne a lot. Uh, you know, usually every every week we'll text a little bit or something like that. But um, I, he don't he don't give me too much advice. Just you know, make sure I make sure I'm enjoying football and enjoying my time here. And uh, we don't really get too deep into, into it though. What was Saturday like for you walking off that field last time? Yeah, it was uh, it was a little emotional. I definitely teared up during the dog walk and uh, just it's crazy how how football can I guess how football can open up so many doorways in your life. You know. The, I've met my future wives here. I've met a lot of great friends here. And so I definitely, uh, there's a lot of emotions in that game, especially having my whole family out there. I was like 15 or 16 of us out there on the field. For, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was definitely a special day. What have these years in Athens been like for you? You were such an offensive star. So many high school, some of the, these guys were high school stars, and then you have to adjust and grow up. What has this whole experience been like? Uh, it's, it sure has been a heck of a ride. Um, I've learned a lot. God's taught me a lot uh, about being selfless, about being uh, content in all circumstances that I'm in, and uh, I've just—it's been—it's been really fun. You know, I've made a lot of really long-lasting relationships. Um, it's you know, definitely, uh, definitely very fortunate to be here. How about your observations of what Fromm is going through right now? It looks like he's struggling. A lot of barking from the outside. What are your thoughts? What are your observations? Jake's fine. He's a, he's a great quarterback. He's uh, I mean. I, yeah, it was a little hard to throw the ball on Saturday because it was so wet and everything. But Jake's fine. He's a really good football player. He's he's done so much for this offense. He does a lot more than a lot of people know. Um, getting us in the right situations when they're blitzing and stuff. He does a lot for us. Um, I think Jake's a great quarterback, and uh, we're, we're lucky to have him. How about his current mindset and level of confidence? I think he's, he's rock solid. He's good. What about the offense overall? I mean, obviously, uh, you guys know you can play LSU. They're putting up 50 points a game in the SEC championship game. The narrative's going to be, Georgia can't keep up with that kind of thing. We're not scoring at that rate. Is there an offensive problem? Do y'all have any offensive issues? I mean, as far as LSU, we're not really looking forward to them yet, but I guess with the issue you're kind of talking about, we just we just got to be able to execute a little better in the red zone. You know, we gotta we got to put touchdowns. Um, we got to get touchdowns and not just field goals. What are your thoughts about Rodrigo and the popularity that he has gained since starting man, as a walk-on? Hot Rod, man. He is, uh, he's definitely the man of Athens. He's, I think he gets the loudest cheers of anyone when they uh, announce his name. But, uh, no, Rod's a great kicker, man. He's a, he's a really good dude. Really works so hard at, at what he does. Because you know? I guess people sit there and think kicking's easy. You, know, you got one job, one job, one job. But, I mean, heck, a lot of pressure comes on you. You know what I mean? Um, to continue and make the amount of field goals he's had. And I've been lucky. I've got to kind of carry him off the field on one of those long field goals on Saturday. I thought it was cool. Um, but, no, Rod's, Rod's been great. I was sharing that moment, Charlie. You know, you're the guy who jumps into your arms. What was that like for you to, to share that moment with Rod? It was cool. Um, I, I don't know how it kind of started. I kind of do it, started doing it, I guess, the beginning of the season or maybe a little bit last season. I don't really remember. But, uh it was it was it was cool to, to pick up Rod. Uh, I think one time I did Superman with him. You know, I picked him up. He was like this, you know, showing off his muscles and everything. But uh, it was cool, especially to you know, he's, he's an all-time leading scorer now in Georgia history. So that's, uh, Why do you think awesome. the kicker gets as big a cheer as the quarterback? I don't know. I mean, everyone loves Rod. You know? uh, what is it about it? I don't know. I guess he's. Uh, you know, I don't know. People just love him. Though. They love his uh, persona and charisma. I guess. We were asking about the, the, the K about the Georgia Tech. You were on the team the last time Georgia lost to Georgia Tech. What, what do you remember about that game? It wasn't fun. I remember that. Uh, yeah, it was, I guess, my freshman year at home. We lost to them. Uh, it definitely was not a fun game losing to them. But, 
I mean, that, it's, it's, you know, it's three years later now, we beat them two times in a row, so now I'm on, on to the third time, and um, we'll, be, we'll be ready for them this Saturday. Charlie, you have a situation where you've been here four years, you've played in all these big rivals games, Kirby Smock's saying that George has a lot of rivals. Where does this rivalry match up with, say, Florida, Tennessee, you know, South Carolina, Auburn, and those others? Yeah, all those other ones are really big, too, but this one's just that one that you kind of just look at the end of the schedule. You know, it's, it's that rivalry week. Uh, there's just a different kind of grit and passion that comes into this game that you, like, cannot lose this game. You know what I mean? You just want to beat these guys so bad. You know, it's just it's a really fun game to play in because uh, there's just so much passion involved in it. It's a fair it. Of all the rivalries you have, yeah, this is – while some others may feel good to win, this is the one more than any other that you can't afford to lose. Is that, is that a fair way to say it? I guess, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just a really fun game at the end of the season to, I don't know, just get after it and then play some, some just old school Georgia football. Is it any chippier than any other one? You say you know what you're going to expect and it's fun. I mean, you know you're going to get more out of these guys out of this rivalry game as far as how Tech's going to approach it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Tech's going to approach this game like it's, you know, like it's the next one and it's a, it's a really big game for them. It's, you know, it's, I mean, they're, they're that school in Atlanta, and we're the school over here in Athens. It's going to be a really good game. I think Union State adds a little bit of sauce to it as well. The fact that, you know, you grew up in the state, you're probably going to live in the state, you're probably going to hear about how'd you do against Tech will be one of the questions maybe you get for the rest of your life. Yeah, I mean, I think growing up in the state definitely matters a little more. I mean, I you know, obviously can't speak for the guys out of state, but um, definitely living in state, you, you always know, like, oh, man, we got Tech the last, you know, last game of the season, you know. Um, I don't know. Just it's always that game that everyone looks forward to, and I guess it always has been. It's, it's, you know, it's a fun one. Charlie, Charlie, 